the summer roses are so beautiful but can make someone bleed red. The Alender is such a beautiful flower. Its warm, rosy colors are welcoming. They attract attention, but they are deadly. So simple, yet so beautiful. The big, snow-white marshmallows in the sky look so gentle and soft, like big cotton candy. It lets your imagination run wild! How is it my fault? You need a better job. You never listen to me. What do you me. mean I never listen to you? We I'm can't here keep her, George. To keep everything you never my listen mind, to me. And I'm just. Keep who, mommy? N no one. School was so fun today. Mika and Connie and I got gold stars for keeping our arts and crafts table really neat. Oh, and Mrs. Wendy. Lilia, darling, we have to talk with you. What's wrong, Mommy? Lilia. George, I'll handle it. Why do you always cut me off? I never cut you off. Oh, really? You just... You were going to tell me something? Right. Oh. Lilia, your father and I have been making a few plans. Plans? Like vacation plans? Well, something like that. Yay! Where are we going? Oh... I'm not coming, am I? Sweetie, I got a new job offer. It is said to pay employees very well. Your mother is going to help look for a new, suitable house for us. I have a new house? Yes. It's a chance for something new. A fresh start. For all of us. Really? Would we ever lie to you? No, of course not. You're my parents. But where will I stay? Oh, right. <clears throat> How would you like to stay in a place full of many joyous kids? Our very good friend Mrs. Dunphy works and owns an orphanage for little children. Oh, isn't an orphanage a home where they keep people without mommies and daddies? My friend told me it's a place where parents dump their kids. They don't want to look after them anymore. Hey, that's not true. But it's different for me, right? He will come back for me, because you're my mommy and daddy, right? Oh, y yes, sweetie. Definitely. We will never abandon you. We promise. Alright, your father and I will be gone for a couple nights. And once we've found a new house, we'll be on our way to pick you up and take you home. Right, George? Today, we're going to be expecting a new kid who's going to be staying with us for a while. Here are your... things. 
I thought I was only staying for a couple nights. So this means we have to give her a nice and warming welcome. Right, Dallas? Whatever. Mommy? Daddy? Oh, goody! She's arrived! Don't forget to smile, everyone! Wait, I... B bye Why are they in such a hurry? Hello, you must be Lilia. Who are you? I'm Miss Dunphy, the owner of this orphanage for children like yourself. I'm not an orphan. Oh. Never mind. Where are you taking those? To the reception area. Why don't you go inside and introduce yourself to everyone? They don't bite, I promise. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I'll go and load your things. That won't be necessary. Oh, why so? Because I'm only staying here for a couple nights. My parents are coming back for me. They said so themselves. So you can save yourself the trouble. Gee, have I heard that line before. If your parents are coming back for you, then why are you here? Lola? What she means is... I'm sure Lola can speak for herself. I mean, this is a home for orphans. Like us. Why would your parents send you here? Why don't you guys go help Tracy make dinner in the kitchen? Okay, Mrs. D. Do you like cooking, Lilia? No, I just want to go home. <laughs> hey. Ah. The stars, they're brighter than ever this week. Mommy and Daddy love stargazing with me. They'll be back for me, I know it. Where are you, Mommy? Where are you, Daddy? They said they weren't going to be gone for too long. It's been over a month. What's wrong, Lilia? I, I want to go home. But this is your home now. Yeah, it's our home. No, this isn't my home. Lola, why is it such a bad thing to be an orphan? Yeah, is there something wrong with us? No, there's nothing wrong with us. It's Lilia doesn't want to be our friend. Because we're different. Guys, don't forget what Mrs. Dumphy has always told us. But we don't have a family! Yes, we do. Why, Sarah, you have me and Luke, Adam, Jackson, and everybody here. It doesn't matter if we're not related by blood. What matters is, 
you love us and we love you. And you too, Luke. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Both of you, we're family, okay? You mean it? Forever. Whoa, Lilia, what's going on? I want my mommy and daddy. Why aren't they here? Lilia. They promised to come back for me. Are they really not coming back? Oh, Lilia, you poor thing. Why don't I tell you a little story, huh? A story? Sure. Would you like a little snack before I begin? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Are you okay, Mrs. D? Aha! Uh -huh. I found it! Headphones? Headphones. Headphones? Yes, headphones. I don't understand. These? These aren't just any type of headphones. Right. Right. Oh, they're special because they're gotcha headphones, right? No, Lilia, darling. <laughs> These are special. They were... A little girl's getaway from all her parents' problems. I don't understand. There was once this girl. Long-haired. Freckle-faced, jet raven black hair, pale skin with rosy cheeks, almost like Snow White. Instead, her hair was long and silky, and her soft eyes were enchanting. Her parents fought a lot, whether it was about who was going to keep her, or money. No one likes to see their parents fight. Parents are like superheroes in children's eyes. But they really aren't heroes. They are human, just like the rest of us. They are broken. You can't expect a human to be perfect. They were nowhere near being perfect. Some people find reading as a way to escape reality. Or sometimes, going online helps others too. For the little girl, she wore her headphones and listened to music. The music drowned the ongoing screaming and yelling from her parents. Putting on the headphones was like entering a whole new world, peaceful. Everything was just fine. Like the movie Coraline. There is no perfect family. Mrs. Dunphy, what happened to the girl? Where is she now? Well, she has a good family now. She loves helping children. She couldn't be any happier. Are you the girl, Mrs. Dunphy? Good night, Lilia. You're always crying. What? Do you expect me to be like the rest? Treat you like a princess? Picking on the younger kids, are we? That's your thing. Well, looks like it became yours instead of mine. What if he's right? All the kids look up to him. I mean, some of them are okay just harder to open up after what happened. But 
I don't want to become a bad person. Becoming worse than him? No, thank you. Now I just need to find that little, I mean, Lilia's room. to catching her. Yeah, yeah. Where's Lilia's room? Um, why do you want to go to Lilia? Do you really need to know? Well, Dally. Don't call me Dally. Right, right. Um, you aren't the kindest person. That's not true. You were just going to upset her. I'll get Mrs. D to let us go to the park if you tell me where her room is. Fourth hallway on your left, walk straight to the second door on the right. Good doing business with you. What do you want? I wanted to say that you were upset and I shouldn't have made it worse. Is that your way of saying sorry? I didn't say sorry. Get out! Just hear me out, okay? I already did, and the princess isn't happy with what you said. Why do I even bother? Ugh. My pillow! <laughs> I hate this household. Just a few more days and Daddy and Mommy will be here. I just... I just know it. What do you want? No need to bite. We have good news. It's my parents! They're here! Luke told Lola and Sarah that Dallas and him are going out to the park. Oh, and Sarah told Tracy who told me. Aren't you excited? A day at the park! What? A day at the park, silly! Just a day at the park? It wasn't about my parents? I love nature, but I can't be happy without my family. I'm not coming. What do you mean you're not coming? Everyone loves the park. You can do this, honey. I I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Why aren't you with the others? Why are you here? I thought you weren't coming. It's a beauty, isn't it? What? Mother Nature. Natural beauty. In nature, nothing is perfect and everything is perfect. Trees can be consorted, bent in weird ways, and they're still beautiful. Alice Walker If you look deep into nature, your problems to solve and you might understand things better. Wow, out of all people, I certainly didn't think you would know so much about nature. There's a lot of things you don't know about me. Like what? <sighs> Believe it or not, but I don't really have that many friends. Hmm, believable. 
Have you noticed that Adam and I fight a lot? Well, you kind of fight with everybody. But yeah, I have noticed. Every time you're in the same room, you guys always quarrel. Why do you hate him so much? Hate is a strong word. But it's normal for siblings to fight a lot. Or so I've heard. Wait, you're brothers? But you look nothing alike. I said we're brothers, not identical twins. What happened? When we were sent here, I didn't speak to anyone. I had many problems. I was extremely stressed and alone. That was a lot to handle, and it was all his fault. You're an orphan because of him? When we were younger, Adam and I were really close. Two peds in a pod. <laughs> uh, our parents had busy lives. Mom always on the phone, and our father rarely ever came home. Mom said he goes out to have a drink most nights and never comes back till the next morning, so... Adam and I barely knew our parents that much. Even though we lived in the same household, we'd never had quality time together. As a family. Despite the presence of our parents, Adam and I always had each other's backs. So, you both were good? The story's not over yet. I still didn't explain how he got us sent here. My brother didn't have the greatest friends. Me, I preferred staying alone. But his friends were horrible. A bad influence. They made him do awful things, and sometimes made me do them as well. And if we didn't do them, they'd have some kind of leverage held against us. Because of them, Adam and I got in a severe amount of trouble. Most involving the police. The police wouldn't take too much action as we were underage. But they gave us plenty of warnings. My parents knew about the warnings, but they didn't give much notice to it. Until one day we pulled a stupid prank in a local supermarket. Adam and his peers attempted to rob all the money there. I stood and kept guard like I was told. The security cameras caught everything. Sure, we were just kids at the time, but that prank was the last prank we ever pulled. The police contacted social services immediately. Our parents were so incredibly ignorant and obsessed with their own life. They couldn't even take care of their own kids. Wow, I'm sorry, Dallas. If it wasn't for Adam, I wouldn't even be in this godforsaken place. I don't think it was Adam's fault. Did you not hear a single word I've been saying for the past two minutes? I meant partly. It was your choice of friends. Yeah, Adam's choice of friends. But maybe think about how Adam might feel. He has to live with the tiniest guilt that he may have been the reason his brother will never have the same life he had before. That he will never forgive him. Hey, look! It's Sheeps! Huh? Come on, Dallas! <laughs> well, wait for me! Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Luke, where are you taking me? It's a surprise. A surprise? From who? If I told you, then it wouldn't be a surprise, silly. Uh, hey! Oh, it's you. Lilia, what is this? Why did you bring us both here? You guys are brothers. It's so hard watching you both not get along. So what? Directing us into the same spot isn't going to change anything. 
Dallas, please forgive Adam, please? Ugh. Don't bother, Lilia. I'm going back to the rest. Wait! Have I told you I got separated from my twin brother? What? After my mommy and daddy's death, they sent my brother and aunt to different orphanages. Separated. You are lucky. You and Dallas are able to see each other every day. So please cherish them until it's gone. Dallas, I'm sorry. Go, go, go! Come on, Luke! It was my fault. I take the blame. I did everything our friends told us because I just wanted to fit in. And we tagged you along because we knew you didn't have too many friends. You might not care, but ever since it was said that we were being sent here, I did everything I could to make sure I would take the full responsibility. I tried. I really did. <sighs> I know we fight a lot, and I'm aware you might probably never forgive me. I just wanted to tell you. Wait! Come on, Luke! <laughs> Do you think we'll be able to see them from here? Totally! Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's a good dog? <laughs>